We start with the story of faithful devotion and a Roman Catholic saint like no other, Kateri Tekakwitha. Her missionary journey brought her to what is now Montgomery County. Today, Matt Markham was at a shrine named for her, where hundreds from across the region and the country gathered to celebrate. She is the first and only one, the only Native American risen to sainthood by the Roman Catholic Church. She means purity and a soul that saw so much horror and was able to rise above it. On the day of her canonization, the faithful walked the footsteps of Kateri Tekakwitha to her shrine. Before she died at just 24, the Mohawk converted to Catholicism. Kateri was scarred by smallpox, but piously cared for the sick. Even for people who aren't Roman Catholic, there's some message to take away here. Almost definitely. Jata Lee uh, took care of everyone, not just uh, the Catholics and she still does today. Hundreds of people have been coming to this site since the 1930s. It is where Kateri is believed to have lived at some point in her life, and even more so since the 1980s when Pope John Paul II beatified her. It's, it's not so much the canonization part, it's the fact that we're able to celebrate um, what the church recognizes. And he will Considered an outcast by her tribe because of her views and as someone who suffered physically, she is relatable. As a kid, he took me here and we would pray. Cateri DiMartino's dad grew up near here and named his daughter after the Lily of the Mohawks. I waited my whole life for this to happen because um, whenever I tell people my name, they think I just made it up or it's something strange. The saint became such because of a miracle, the cure of a boy with a flesh-eating disease. This catery knew she was a saint all along. To stay with me, um, sorry, a lot to my father because um, he passed away four months ago today from pancreatic cancer. I think he's in heaven with her. Matt Markham, CBS 6 News. Catery was among seven people to be canonized. Uh, another was an American and an upstate New Yorker for part of her life, Marianne Cope. She was a Franciscan nun from Syracuse who went on to care for the sick in Hawaii.